I believe we're live. Welcome. I'm Jessica Hentoff, Jessica the Circus Lady from Circus Harmony. Drinking my Circus Harmony Defy Gravity Coffee. And this is Circus Harmony's Up in the Air live stream, graciously hosted on the City Museum Facebook page because City Museum is our home. While we're waiting to tune in, waiting, we're tuned in. While we're waiting for other people to join us, I'll introduce you to one of my special guests today. Please welcome. Tico, the military macaw. She's actually going to welcome everybody. So while she's doing that, I'll just say that City Museum is running a very special special on their memberships. So you should go to citymuseum.org and become a member. Thank you very much, Tico. Ta-da! You'll be seeing Tico a little later, but I do want to introduce you. Don't you love these awkward little live streams? I do want to introduce you to the guest who's going to be joining us shortly by showing you a video of the St. Louis Arches from 2018 performing at Circus Flora. I also want to mention that today is Give, Giving Tuesday, hashtag Giving Tuesday, where nonprofits around the country beg you for money or ask for your support however you want to look at it. And we'd be happy for you to support us as well. I know Circus Flora is running um, a Giving Tuesday. Pretty much anybody you know who's a nonprofit would love you to donate anything. And even if you just, for us, what we're asking for is to join our Big Top Society, become a sustaining member, pledge $10 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee a week. And something as small as that can make a really big difference in the life of an organization such as ours. But right now, I'm gonna show you a video. You are, our special guest today is the person who is the main base of this. His name is Nathan D. So this is uh, the St. Louis Arches checking into the hotel at Circus Flora. And you're keeping your eye on Nathan.
I'm going to go ahead and oh, I was going to stop this share, but the problem is I did not stop it well enough. So, oh my goodness. One moment, please, while I try and fix that. you who watch this live stream know that I am a techno peasant. So I apologize for that. Uh, also, if any of you watching know how to make it so when we show a video from YouTube, it's not so choppy, because that one was looking very choppy to me, please let me know how to fix that. But if you would like to see that fabulous video of Circus Harmony's St. Louis Arches performing with Circus Flora in 2018, all you have to do is go the Circus Harmony YouTube page and search Circus Flora 2018. And there it will be and you can watch it smoothly. Now our special guest today was the bass. There were multiple basses, but he was the biggest bass in that act. Uh, 
you will also see him a little later doing another act for right now. Uh, he's had a very interesting circus journey, a very intense circus journey. And I will say right now, he is working as a guest coach for us and doing some other interesting things. So I am going to hopefully technology willing and me pressing the right buttons, bring into the room, Nathan D. It's magic and it worked. Willing. Yay. Pressing the right button. You probably turn off whatever you're watching on because there's a 11 second delay and it can be very disconcerting. Hello. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And so they only got to see some of the Circus Floor Act because it was very choppy. But I was just introducing you saying that you had a very interesting and intense circus journey. Do you remember uh, when you first approached me about running away and joining the circus? I do. I think that would have been um, I was about 22 years old, so that was um, maybe 2017 uh, or 18. Would have been 17, 17. and you had graduated from NYU? Uh, never graduated, but was okay. um, on a gap year. So you'd already been to college. Most people, when they run away and join the circus, start a little younger. That's true. And up, leading up until then, you'd been wrestling, you did capoeira. Mm -hmm. you, you were in Israel, if I recall, doing handstands and dance. Yeah. And why did you decide to join the circus? So I was, yeah, as you say, I was a little all over the place uh, with my interests, but circus seemed to be kind of uh, something that everything, I could bring everything to. Um, circus is, uh, has the, yeah, the acting and the dance and the, um, the theatrical acrobatics and all of it. And it was all of those things that um, I felt were, uh, yeah, extremely exciting and, and, uh, and, and cool. So that- and So you called me and you said, hey, I'd like to go to a Colmassie now, the Cirque, can you help me? And for people who don't know, that's a, the National Circus School of Montreal. It is a circus college and it is harder to get into than Harvard or Yale. And we had, Circus Harmony has had several students go. Right now we have four students there, which is amazing. But I invited you to, I don't know why, but I invited you to come to the Smithsonian Folklife Festival that summer in Washington, DC, because the theme was circus. And I was like, you can see what we do and you can see a lot of different variations of circus. Yeah, I remember that. I showed up and you thought I was the driver of the van who was late uh, driving <laughs> off the kids. So I, <laughs> I show up and I was like, hi, Jessica, I'm Nathan. I, I met you a long time ago and you said, why are you so late? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, that sounds about right. But then you got to see a, a lot of shows and I assume the driver did show up and we got to our show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I said, I've known you since you were five years old. What took you so long to realize you wanted to run away and join the circus? Yeah. Yeah, it took a while to kind of settle in. <laughs> Everybody has their, their own path and their own time. So then you came back to St. Louis and started training, um, probably July or August, mm -hmm. to get ready to audition for this school. And you were in the... Circus Floor Act with us in 2018, and you got in, mm -hmm. which was amazing. You want to mm -hmm. talk a little bit about your experience at EN? ENC is short for a Cole Nasty Now the Cirque. Sure. So I was um, accepted in, into uh, deck one, which is the first year of the three-year program. And my discipline was uh, Russian bar. And my, um, like- Do I explain Russian bar? It's not a place where you go for vodka. <laughs> it's not. Russian bar is an acrobatic trio with a very flexible bar or pole uh, mm -hmm. that has a, one flyer and two bases. So the bases are supporting the pole, which bends and flexes and sends the flyer 10 feet into the air who executes um, 
flips in the air. And then you, the bases, have to make sure the pole is right under the flyer. Right. We make sure the pole is very straight and always underneath their hips so that they always land on the in the correct spot. And um, I was there training with my partners, Dene and Nika. Dene was from Sweden and Nika was from Switzerland. So we're from a, a very international uh, group. Um, and we, I, I stayed there for one year. Um, and I was also doing acrobatics there as a side discipline. And it was an incredible year. I met so many amazing people. The training was, was top notch. Um, the facilities are incredible and uh, I've heard the facilities described as like the X-Men training facility. When you walk in, you feel like you're at the X-Men's building. It feels it feels something like that. Yeah. Or a little bit like Hogwarts, too, I think, because it was oh, that's a great combination of X-Men and Hogwarts. Yeah. And then you get ENC. Oh, that's it. That's a brilliant definition or description of it. And then you followed your heart to, did you end up in South America? You headed for South America. Yeah, so um, I, I left early uh, in part because my girlfriend was graduating and we wanted to uh, stay together. And so um, she and her circus partner were going to Argentina. So I tagged along with them. And we were with uh, Circo Locomotive in Argentina um, for the winter, which is summertime there. Right. And, um, I was helping out with the show there. It was uh, based around the flying trapeze. That was the big finale act. So they had their whole flying trapeze set up, which we set up and took down every day. Um, which for the people- It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's um, it's worth it. It's an incredible act, so. And now you've, you've turned down another path and you're going to school for? Right, so I'm studying physical education now um, at Lindenwood in St. Charles. And I'm finishing up my uh, undergraduate degree, my bachelor's degree. Um, it seemed like the right thing to do given COVID for me is uh, to take advantage of this time to finish my degree. So I'm studying online um, and working hard to, to finish that up. And you were part of our show, The Balancing Act, giving your pandemic perspective about mental health during the time of COVID. And people can see that on our web, on our YouTube page. You can also find the link on our website, but it's The Balancing Act, Walking the Pandemic Tightrope. And right now, while you're going to school, you're also wrestling and you, and I call you and ask you to, to teach at odd times. And yesterday, because of the incident on 170, which, welcome to St. Louis, somebody got shot on the highway, which we didn't know at the time, but you were supposed to teach online and you ended up teaching from your car, which was mm -hmm. perfectly safe because it wasn't moving. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, bumper to bumper traffic. And you're, you've also done special classes for us in, uh, what do they call it? Uh, what's, so it's tumbling, but it's, not actual acrobatics, it's... it's we call it acro research. Research, uh, yeah. And it's, uh, it's something that I think is really fun and interesting. It's a, a official class at ENC that's offered as well. Um, and the thinking is it's a, a place where you can blend and introduce acrobatics that influence circus acrobatics. So that can be, they can be coming from capoeira or break dancing. Or and capoeira was something you studied. Do you want to explain what capoeira is for people who don't know? Sure. Capoeira is a um, Afro-Brazilian uh, dance and martial art, and um, it's characterized by some flowy acrobatics and kicks and um, some high-energy tumbling sequences. And it's a beautiful, beautiful art form uh, for those of you who feel like checking it out. And your audition for ENC was had a lot of capoeira. It did, yeah. Um, the, some of the first acro that I learned was capoeira acro. And so I um, added that into my hand balancing act, which was my audition piece. And the acro research, as you were starting to describe it and I interrupted you, is a lot of very different acro elements. And so where people might be thinking acrobatics is very linear, like gymnastics, um, acro research you're going in different directions and you're landing and using body parts in a way that's that's very unusual. 
That's and a great way to describe it. Yeah, it's it's very nonlinear. So echo research can go in any direction as opposed to a, a straight line. And the other thing that I'm excited about, when we first started the quorum training classes, you did a class on circus at home, like using just found objects. So mm -hmm. kids would come to class and they you would go tell them to go get the mop or whatever, and then do <laughs> circus with it, um, yeah. which is actually a form of, there's a whole field called adaptive circus. And we are, we at Circus Harmony are about to, to really start including that in, in our offering to the public and to different schools. And we're very excited. There's a man named Craig Quat from Quat Props, Q-U-A-T, who's gonna do a training. And it's, it's so perfect for you, I think, because it's a blend of this using what you have and using your body in different ways. And so it's, it's like theory of circus. And mm -hmm. when you're teaching, you need to approach each child so individually. And that's something you've always been very patient and open with and good at, uh, maybe because your parents are both teachers, maybe that's just how you were raised. Mm -hmm. uh, but so I'm excited about that. You did some acro research with our special guests, our partners actually, our Peace to Pyramids partners from Circus Circuli mm -hmm. uh, in Stuttgart. You did a, a special guest coaching with them on, on Saturday. And the video, by the way, we did a, we were making a video with them. That'll be out December 19th is the world premiere on our YouTube page at noon. So if the Acro Act in that has a lot of elements of Acro research because right now in the middle of COVID, everybody has to approach things a little differently. Mm -hmm. And it's very much about doing what you can with what you have where you are. So Absolutely. yesterday you were teaching the arches, that troupe that I showed the video of you performing with, but they were in their rooms and, and some of them, like they can touch the walls of their rooms if they put their arms out, which you have to be very creative. Right, sure do. So, now you're going to be a physical education teacher and you'll be teaching for us and who knows what your next path will be. You'll end up like on a ship somewhere or going up, up in a spaceship and teaching non-gravity acro. Would not surprise me. Anything you do would not surprise me. But, but circus seems to be like uh, where, where the confluence happens. Absolutely. And I, I think for sure I would love to stay involved with the circus as much as possible, um, especially once I graduate, which I'm anticipating graduating this year. Um, and with a combination of teaching, performing, um, kind of uh, figure out figure out my my life a little bit. But I think so, everyone's, everyone's a little bit struggling with this right now too. So I don't feel so alone in, in that. Yeah, and once again, I think people should go watch the balancing act and look for your your piece in it because I think it really speaks to that and finding our, our balance in this very unbalanced time. Well, I'm excited to have you back and teaching for us. And you're always very creative. Um, that act that I'm gonna show, your solo act, uh, was uh, a holiday act where you took your hand balancing and you wanna talk about it? Sure, yeah, so that's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna watch the Circus Santa act. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that came about, I think it was your idea, Jessica, because we had the Santa suit um, that I could fit, that no one else could fit in. And Although you were the thinnest, most fit Santa I have yeah, ever seen. I was fit Santa. Santa started doing circus and, and lost the, the holiday weight. There you um, go. And this was a super fun act to perform. Although it was difficult to breathe <laughs> with the beard, but um, we got through it. Yeah, this year it would be Santa with a, with a face mask. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna show that act. Um, this was in a show that we did at One McKnight Place, uh, but I do wanna mention that we are still doing shows. We've been doing our six foot circus where we're outside socially distanced masks and all that and Zoom shows. So now it's getting a little chilly in St. Louis, but if anybody wants, you could reenact Circus Santa, right? If you want Circus Santa to zoom into your 
that was Tico, sorry. Circus Santas, a lot of our other acts can zoom into people's living rooms. Or we're also suggesting that you're having a holiday gathering, but you're all in your separate Zoom rooms. And that can be a little awkward. So you can hire not Tico, but Circus Harmony will do a circus workshop for all the guests. So everybody gets on, on Zoom and you or one of our other teachers will give them some circus exercises. And as you say, you can work off the, the cookies or whatever and have fun because first and foremost, circus is really fun. And as you, you have been experiencing, we can do it anywhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Tico's saying she wants to do her trick. So I'm gonna let you go. Do you, anything else you're gonna share with our live stream audience? No, that's it. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for saying yes all the time. You always say yes. And I really appreciate that about you. And we find a way to make it all work. Uh, so now, uh, once again, if technology and I can work together, we're going to show Nate as Circus Santa. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's. Dum, dum, dum. Well, we don't want breakout rooms. Sorry about that. And we don't want that video. We would like to see Circus Santa. Here we go. Or not. Oh my, probably it would help if I also got a different computer. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to be very sad if it just keeps buffering. Please welcome one of the most well balanced men I know Circus Santa. Santa. <laughs>
Mozart. For Circus Santa. Circus Santa. So that was made as Circus Santa. Don't forget that you can have Circus Santa zoom into you or any of our other performers, including the marvelous Miss Maple, who's been working on some new tricks. So here's that awkward moment where we move down to Maple level. Oh dear, now I don't know what happened. That should not be there. So hopefully I can fix that. I need a stage manager. There we go. Okay, Maple. Oh, Maple. Maple, would you like to show people your new trick? Maple's like, no, I was sleeping. Maple. Maple, come on. So hopefully this will reach. This is, hmm, I don't know. We might need to bring it closer. Mapes, what do you think? So there's the lovely Miss Maple, and she has been working on her coffee grinding. I'm not sure this is going to work here. Let's see. But anyway, that's a lovely shot of you, Mapes. All right, Maple. And can you press the coffee grinder and make the coffee? Press, press. Better press hard. Isn't she getting good? Good, Maple. And now, Maple, can you bring me the coffee? Go to the circus. Go to the circus. I'm going to move the computer. You get the coffee. Bring me the coffee. Oh, live streams are so much fun in the living room. Did you get me the coffee? You did not get me the coffee, mademoiselle. Get the coffee. Maple, go get the coffee. Get the coffee. It's not coffee. Maple, try again. Get the coffee. Bring me the coffee. Yay, bring me the coffee. Oh, you dropped it. Try again. Not your day today. Can you please get the coffee? Bring me the coffee. Bring, not to the circus, bring me that coffee. Go back and get the coffee. Please, bring me the coffee. Maple. Apparently, Maple would like to keep the coffee all to herself now that she knows how to grind it. But you can get your own coffee by going to circusharmony.org or pressing the link in the video. And this coffee, Circus Harmony's Defy Gravity Coffee, will give you a lift and help a child soar all at the same time because it supports our Flying Children's Scholarship Fund. So get the coffee, Maple, get the coffee and take it home or not. Maple, this is not your day today. Let's see. Let's end with your fiery finish. Oh no, because I have one more trick for you. But she does love this one. Hop. Hop. But Maple, I have one more trick for you. After this, can you go get the pig so that Tico can do a trick? Okay. Go get the pig. Bring me the pig. That was a hint. Bring me the pig. Bring me the pig, bring me the pig. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna take the pig. We're gonna put the pig on the table. We're gonna take the computer to the table. Oh, this is also awkward. If you're still out there, thanks for staying with us. We're gonna move the chair. And now. It is Giving Tuesday, so we hope that you will give to Circus Harmony and other nonprofits. Every little bit helps. Tico is now going to show how she's been saving her money so that she could give on Giving Tuesday. Okay, can you put the money, please? That is not how you save money. Try again. Yes, it goes in the bank. Right, exactly. Can you pick it up and put it in the bank? You were so close. It just didn't quite go in. This is the joy of working with Anwar. It's also because she knows if there's a live audience, the kids prefer her to throw things off the table 
rather than to do the actual trick. Can you put in the bed? Yay! Ta da! Yay! All right, Tico. So, for Giving Tuesday, we are asking if you will go to circusharmony.org, click on the support page, and join our Big Top Society. The Big Top Society is for sustaining donors. If you would pledge just $10 a month, we would love to get 100 people to pledge just $10 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee a week. And it would make a huge difference to us. Speaking of coffee, of course, don't forget to buy Circuits Harmony's Defy Gravity Coffee. Thank you from Tico and Maple, who was not having the best day, but she was really getting good at grinding the coffee, don't you think? And don't forget that other great gift ideas include our garden steaks. Go to the Circus Harmony page and look at those garden steaks. They're so cool. They're a little hard to ship, so you'd have to come down to City Museum and pick them up. But we're doing a special, they're only $10 each. It's like having a Calder sculpture in your yard. Uh, we also have juggling balls, of course, Circus Harmony t-shirts, books, all sorts of circus swag. Uh, but don't forget that Defy Gravity coffee. It's delicious, it makes a great gift. That's what I like getting is coffee, just saying. Um, and another fabulous gift is give the gift of a circus class. You can buy classes for all ages, all levels. And don't forget, you can also book a special Zoom class party for your holiday online gatherings or a Zoom show to come to you. So I'm Jessica Antoff, Jessica the Circus Lady. Thank you to the City Museum for hosting us here and for giving us a home. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to watch the balancing act. See Nate in that great circus floor act from 2018. We have like hundreds of videos there. Tune in there, other places. And December 19th, we will be premiering the Sister City Circus video with our partners from the St. Louis Sister City of Stuttgart, Circus Circuli. And thanks for letting us make your day a circus day. Bye. I love when it doesn't stop when I press it. Just makes the ending the same as the whole.